Hi, my name is Julia Hernandez. I'm originally from France. I've been in New Orleans for more than 10 years. I did my PhD here on uh, community mobilization, social capital and urban resiliency in post-Katrina New Orleans. I have a very strong interest in, in field work and work at the community levels, which has translated in my current uh, research project. I'm a geographer by training. Uh, I have a concentration in geographic information systems, uh, which is uh, a tool and a set of skills that can be applied to a number of public health issues. GIS, geographic information system, tend to have gained more interest for public health projects. What is interesting about it is that GIS also has a bad rep for being clunky, for not being particularly user-friendly, and quite often for being a, an expensive software to integrate in any public health project. So most of my research has to do with developing uh, tools that are going to be free, that are going to be open source, that are going to be uh, user friendly, and uh, that are going to focus on uh, answering uh, or trying to address a, pub a specific public health issues. What I'm trying to do is to uh, develop small smartphone applications to quickly collect data, transmit it, analyze it, and be able to use it most importantly. My main projects right now has to do with tracking contraceptive flows and preventing stockouts in uh, DR Congo in Kinshasa. Uh, it's a text message based system and the idea is for community health workers who have distributed almost all of their contraceptives, for example, to send a text message which is entered in a um, database where uh, the, the program managers will have access to it and be able to decide uh, where to re where and when to resupply. What is important in a lot of my projects and a lot of my research is that we are always working with local managers, local program officers. The main uh, objective for, for me and for a lot of my projects is to create tools that uh, can be used to improve health programs management uh, in contexts where technical and human resources are quite often very limited. In Kinshasa, for example, we've created um, interactive Google Earth maps that list and uh, plot all the structures that are offering family planning services. Uh, this is useful for advocacy because you can click on the map and see a little bubble appear that will tell you what services are um, uh, offered at that facility. And uh, let's say you only have the funds to locate or to create two new points of services. Where should you put them so that uh, as many people who didn't have access previously to family planning services will have access to family planning services now. Teaching, most of uh, my teaching is currently taking place abroad uh, and has to do with training local healthcare managers and local program officers in the use of those tools that we develop and try to apply. In terms of teaching at the School of Public Health, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, working with both undergraduate and graduate students uh, in giving them the skills to develop their own uh, GIS applications and uh, come up with their own solutions for mapping information that will, is, that will be relevant to their own research. Uh, I try as much as possible to go beyond the clickety-click -click tutorials that you would have in uh, a lab or in the, at the university lab, because in, especially in international health, but even in domestic situation, you rarely have uh, a laboratory equipped with the latest computer and the latest GIS software. So I also uh, enjoy and, and do uh, advise uh, graduate students on their doctoral uh, thesis and also master thesis in, in some uh, departments. Uh, and it's truly one of the aspects of my work that I probably enjoy and, and benefit the, the most. My grad students keep me on my toes. 
If I had to give um, advice to students in, in public health and more largely in, in international development, uh, it would be to get specific skills. If you want to be competitive in the job market, the idea is get a skill. It can be languages, it can be something a little bit less obvious. For me it was mapping and French, uh, obviously. Um, but it can also be accounting, computer science, uh, a knowledge of the law, all those technical skills that will get you uh, a foot in the door uh, and and help you make a create a niche for yourself in public health projects for which you're going to become uh, better known and uh, you will be able then to expand and if you have the very rich background knowledge and skills that you will acquire at the School of Public Health uh, then you have a, a good chance to pursue a profession in the field that interests you.